I came very close with the Oliver Tambo in the All African Conference in Peter Marisbeck, where Mandela addressed the the conference, and that was the last of Mandela that went underground, and of course that was the last of Tambo that disappeared. You will remember O.R. Tambo left the country in 1960, not for military training, but ANC leadership had already sensed that the ANC will be bent. He was then uh, tasked by the ANC leadership to leave the country and go and organize international support abroad. Oliver Tambo was liked by everybody. Every soldier, they liked him because he was straight. In the camps, he used to be there in the bush. Life was not easy, it was tough. But it was always there cheering it's his soldiers up. A, a good leader uh, like O.R. Tambo, he understood every one of us. You see, uh, leaders are not the same. Like us, people who are not the same. There are bad people, there are good people, there are people who are listening, there are people who are not listening. The people are sympathizing with other people, others they don't care. He was a good leader, A leader who was very calm, collected, and down to earth. When we talk to him, he is listening. But you could see that uh, he is planning something to help you. He had a, a memory as sharp as a razor plate. New razor plate from, from the pocket. You ask him anything about the world, you know. That man was well informed, you know. I remember him as a frank leader. I remember Oliver Tambo as an organizer. And was brave, Tom, he was a brave man. Humorous. And when he took out an order, it was, he must just do it. Tireless, a giant. He's the only leader in the NC, which I was so close to him. He was everything. He was a comrade, he was a father, he was a brother. That was Oliver Tambo. Some of his words were that he can ride on any devil to see to it that this apartheid regime is overthrown. I remember him holding, keeping the ANC in exile. Intact, solid. Building the ANC in exile. Building Mkonto was his, his, his chief, commander-in-chief. He was the, the leader of the organization. Mind you, he was not only leading the, the, the movement outside. He, even inside was leading. And you remember when he handed over ANC to President Mandela at the conference of the ANC? He said, I am handing over the ANC as a united and strong organization. I'm bringing it to you intact. And it was. Comrade President, I'm congratulating you for your birthday today. And I'm very glad. I don't have any other words which I can say to you. Because you taught me many things which I won't forget in my life. I always think of you as the only president 
whom I was so close to him. So. If people could be resurrected, he would be the first one out. Propose that he be resurrected and come and correct some of the mistakes we are making. 